Well, now in matters governance, a war of words has erupted between Nairobi leaders on the status of governance in Nairobi County by the area Governor Mike Sonko. Nairobi Senator Johnson Sakaja has accused Governor Sonko of paralyzing operations in the county while in his endeavors of fighting the so-called cartels. This comes even as leaders from Nairobi County Assembly led by the Speaker Beatrice Elachi came out to defend Governor Sonko saying Nairobi County is well governed and critics should shine blaming the governor for the current crisis. Now, political reporter Irene Mwangi has the details of that story. The administration of Nairobi County government that has caused mixed reactions on how well Governor Mike Sonko is governing the county has now attracted the wrath of leaders from Nairobi. Nairobi Senator Johnson Sakaja, flanked by a section of legislators from Nairobi, have poked holes on the administration of the county, saying it is grappling with deplorable conditions despite being given a budget of 52.54 billion shillings to undertake its operations. Education and security, our citizens are demanding to know what the billions of Kenya shillings are doing to better the plight of our residences, who are plagued by a lot of issues, including the high level of unemployment of our young people. The county government has failed to deliver critical services enumerated as county functions. The leaders claim that a majority of services undertaken in Nairobi have been done by the national government as Governor Mike Sonko has no functional executive. The Maswala Mazito, Ambayo, Governor wa Nairobi, our channel and a view to the Kwamba of Anapigana na Makatels, Akuna, Kama Makatels, Zipo, Extortion Pier, Iwachu. Kwa sababu kuna extortion nyingi, kwa sababu ya ile woga unaeko kwa watu. Kwa hivyo tumesema kwamba kama kwangu Dagoret North. Kuna maswala muhimu ambao mwishmiwa kidero ambayo ali, aliekwepo, aliwacha njiani. Mpaka leo hii, ajafanyika. Na pesa zipo hapa county. Kutu chaguliwe, 2017, mbaka sasa emelekea miaka miwili. Hatuja kuwa na mkutano wote na governor wa Nairobi. Kama wajumbe ambayo tumechaguliwa. Na hiyo ndio jambo kubwa tunayo sasa tungetaka teamwork ya kusaidia Nairobi kwa sababu katika zile constituency tuna hudumu tunapata malalamishi. In a quick rejoinder however members of the executive in Nairobi County government have come out to criticize the claims saying Sonko's administration has made huge strides despite them surviving on low budgets as a majority of the pending bills are from the national government. We are moving in the right direction. Ours is just to call for a hand of cooperation, and we are ready to work with them. His Excellency the Governor operates also an open-door policy, and I'm sure most of them know that once they call the Governor, they can be able to set up a meeting within the shortest time, and as an executive, we are ready to give all the information that they need. Sentiments that are echoed by Nairobi County Assembly Speaker Beatrice Elache, who lashed out at leaders asserting that the Assembly is in shambles. Speaker Elache revealed that as it is, there is a lacuna on the issue of deputy government in Nairobi County, and hence that cannot be an argument to criticize the governor. We know very well there was a time even our president stayed without a cabinet. We know. And so now when we talk to the governor about the cabinet, so far he has eight. And you know, the problem is the law. So if the Senate wants to help us, is look the, the law does not say it is a must, you have ten. The law says maximum ten. Members of the County Assembly of Nairobi on their part supported the track record of Governor Mike Sonko, revealing that majority of leaders criticizing Governor Mike Sonko have major dealings in the county and that they cannot account for their CDF funds. Irene Mwangi, KTV.